Hello, my name is Munja Grijaert and during my internship at the Animal Health Trust I performed a research project together with Danica Pollard and Sue Dyson investigating the occurrence of and risk factors for concurrent suspensory ligament injuries in horses with high limb proximal suspensory desmopathy. We performed this study since we had recognized concurrent forelimb proximal suspensory desmitis and or branch injuries in any limb of relatively young sports horses and questioned if these horses are inherently at risk of injury. The aims of this retrospective case control study were to describe the occurrence of and identify risk factors for concurrent suspensory ligament injuries in horses with high limb proximal suspensory desmopathy. We hypothesized that horses of 5 years of age and younger will have a higher frequency of occurrence of concurrent suspensory ligament injuries compared with horses of 6 years of age and older. Concurrent suspensory ligament lesions were defined as forelimb proximal suspensory desmitis or suspensory ligament branch injuries in any limb. Presence or absence of concurrent lesions was recorded. The work intensity was classified as unbacked, backed within the previous three months, light work or full work. A multivariable logistic regression analysis was performed to identify the risk factors for concurrent suspensory ligament injuries. In total, we had 923 horses with high limb proximal suspensory desmopathy included in the study. The median age was 8 years old. In total, 28.6% of the horses had concurrent suspensory ligament lesions. There were 808 horses of 6 years of age and older. The median age was 9 years old and 27.4% had concurrent suspensory ligament lesions. There were 115 horses of 5 years of age and younger. The median age was 5 years old and 37.4% had concurrent suspensory ligament lesions. In this group, 51.2% of the horses with concurrent suspensory ligament lesions were in light work or less. In the final model, five risk factors were identified. Horses of five years of age and younger were almost two times more likely to have concurrent lesions of the suspensory ligament compared with horses of six years of age and older. Other important risk factors were body weight height ratio, breed, symmetry versus asymmetry of high limb proximal suspensory desmopathy ultrasonography grades, and asymmetry versus symmetry of lameness grades. In accordance with our hypothesis, horses of 5 years of age and younger had a higher frequency of occurrence of concurrent suspensory ligament injuries compared with horses of 6 years of age and older. Just over half of those young horses were in light work or less, so injuries are not necessarily the result of excessive work. This suggests that there may be an inherent risk for suspensory ligament injury. In conclusion, age, breed and body weight height ratio were important risk factors for concurrent suspensory ligament injuries. It remains to be determined if there is a genetic component predisposing these horses to injury and or if other causal factors are involved. Further studies need to be performed, including prospective genetic studies and ultrastructural, biochemical and strength to failure studies in young horses. These are my declarations and thank you for watching this video.